China ranks second in terms of land reclamation capabilities, second only to the Netherlands. So, how exactly is land reclamation done in the sea? Land reclamation can be divided into three steps. The first step is artificial land filling. If the sea conditions are suitable and the tides and sea currents are not too strong, large amounts of sand, stones, and other materials can be dumped into the sea to gradually build up the land. However, in some cases, such as areas with strong currents or deep sea conditions, large seal or concrete structures called cofferdams may need to be constructed to create a contained area for the land reclamation to proceed. Once the land is stable, a protective layer of rocks or concrete is often added to prevent erosion and damage from waves. The next step involves the extraction of mud from the seabed, which is then used to build up the landmass layer by layer. This method is effective for creating small islands, such as those in the Maldives or artificial islands in Dubai, which use sand and coral to form the base. Another common method is to drive steel piles into the seabed to create a framework, and then fill the space within with sand, stones, or concrete. This approach is suitable for larger islands and involves building a ring-shaped dike to contain the materials. Even though it may seem labor-intensive and costly, the method is effective for creating large land areas in the sea. A different technique, known as sand pumping, involves using a dredger to suck up sand from the seabed and pump it onto the target area. This sand is then spread and leveled to form the new landmass. In this process, a layer of rocks or a protective barrier is often added to prevent erosion from waves waves and currents. Although this method requires significant machinery and resources, it is an efficient way to create large land areas in the sea. Finally, after the initial land mass is formed, the land is usually allowed to settle and stabilize. Once the land has reached the desired elevation and stability, additional measures such as planting vegetation, adding soil, and creating infrastructure are taken to protect and develop the new land. This is the basic process of creating artificial land. After that, further construction can proceed on the newly created island. Alright, that concludes the explanation.